This is Kaupatare in Helsinki. From here we are taking a ferry and going to a beautiful small island called Suomenlinna. If you want to see it too, join in and watch this video. I had visited Suomenlinna Island only during summertime and I was very very much looking forward seeing it also in winter. I found especially impressive boating through the sea with pieces of ice. I know that for Finns it's totally normal but for me it was very very special and it was the first time I experienced it. There was a moment when the icy sea surface changed into the free water and it was magical. On the way back I waited for this moment of change and filmed it. But you must wait for it a little bit longer. First things first, let's go to explore Suomenlinna. Well, first thing for us was to visit a cozy cafe. I was most of the time on the ferry outside where the feeling temperature could be maybe even 10 degrees less. So I needed to warm up and have something to eat to have enough energy. The coffee was excellent and I liked the cups in which it was served. We had this year first laskia is pulla with almond paste and oat bread with cheese. I didn't know oat bread until I came to Finland and I very much recommend it. It's soft, fluffy, it has rich taste it's healthy and just very good. I very much enjoyed walking between the colorful buildings and appreciating architecture. I think the cloudy winter weather brings out the colors of the buildings and makes them stand out.
So Mendlina is a sea fortress with interesting long history. In some parts of Suomenlinna, the architecture of the fortress is dominant, shaping the landscape. While at some places Suomenlinna looks like a very cozy little town. One important thing I have learned in Finland is to dress well. And by that I mean according to weather, not according to fashion. Because when feeling cold I can't fully enjoy the time outside. For this trip I had under my trousers leggings, I had Moira shirt and in the backpack I had very warm gloves which are called rukkaset in Finnish. I switched them with less warm gloves when we got to the island. Let's admit that rukkaset are not the most elegant, but they kept my hands nicely warm and cozy. It was above zero, but the weather on the island is tricky. The wind on the seashore makes the feeling temperature much, much lower. Since it was above freezing, also a few days before, the paths were without ice, not slippery at all, and we could even reach the cliffs. The views were so beautiful and calming. It was like the moving landscape from the books of Du Beyonson.
like the most walk in Conde Pass by the rocky shores, watching sea and listening its sounds. When we were walking back to the ferry, it was slowly getting dark and we could see so many in dusk. I was surprised that the top of the church tower became a lighthouse. Also, the way back by ferry was very atmospheric. 